Please don't wreck his car, Lincoln. <laughs> this is the Rivian R1T, and I'm sure at this point you've seen a lot of different reviews of this truck and what it's like and what the journalists think about it and what the people that own it think about it. Well, today we're gonna give you a unique perspective. How about a 16 year old? Okay, Lincoln, you have never seen the Rivian truck other than I've just here at Zach's it. house, right? No, uh, it, it looks pretty cool. I like it. But so far I, you like the looks. I like the looks of it, yep. Even I, though I've it's- only, I've only driven one other truck. It was like this huge Ford Raptor and then I did like my little driver's ed car. Like other than that, I pretty much just driven the Model Y for the last like six, eight months. Six to eight months, how have you liked the Model Y? It's really great. We kind of made our first road trip and I kind of got to see what it's like to charge for my first time, like not just in our little small town. This is our friend Zach from Jerry Rig Everything's truck. And full disclosure, he has said in multiple videos, he only cleans his vehicles if God <laughs> wants them clean. And he lets rain clean his vehicles. <laughs> and it's a truck, so it can be dirty. So um, yep. you're still d holding true with that, even with this beautiful electric truck. Yep. I did try to wash it one time, like two weeks ago. And I went there, but something was wrong with their water pressure. So it was just one of those divinely inspired, we gotta wait for the rain. <laughs> God was like, there's no way I'm letting you <laughs> lose story. your faith in this. Okay, so Zach, how about you show Lincoln and the world your truck? If you have some thoughts about how you've liked it or things you haven't liked about it, that will be good. And then Lincoln? Yes. We gotta let you drive it. Zach, is that okay if the totally 16 year old fine. drives it? Totally fine. <laughs> okay, perfect. Cool. So first thing, where the engine should be, we have nothing. Well, we have that's, a, that's a lot larger than the Tesla's. Quite it's a like, bit. Yeah. Actually, I fit in there once, Lincoln. <laughs> hey! Okay. <laughs> All right, so we can fit a human inside of here. You keep your golf clubs in your Model Y just like right here in the back, which works out pretty well. It yeah, fits yeah. perfectly. It's great. Zach's gonna show you where you would put them if you had a Rivian. So I think this is one of the coolest features of the Rivian truck, actually. Oh, wait, I've actually seen your, your little video on this where you fit in there and you like, like <laughs> you saw I remember Okay, that. all right, so you remember that. Tell my family I love them and there's an emergency button. Oh, hey, there he is. We're back out. He does watch your videos. You do watch something of my videos. It Look fits. at that. That fits great. Could you fit two though? I think so. Cool. On top of it? Yeah. I think so. And then you can even stand on that. Like, go ahead, jump on this guy. Look at that. It like snaps. <laughs> it breaks. <laughs> they probably should have called it golf club tunnel for golf club owners. And I would think a lot of people that drive like skis electric or trucks. Well, back there too. I don't know if skis would make it. Typically with trucks, this is a place where people look for like a quick like grab and steal something where the gear tunnel, I can't imagine a lot of people would even know yeah. that this exists. All this stuff that's in the truck bed used to be in here. Not for golf clubs, I don't golf. <laughs> Mini golf, yes. So this is an air compressor right here. So I have the hose for the air compressor in there. Overall, Lincoln, what would you give the looks of the Rivian truck just from your first impressions of the outside looks? It's probably like a, probably like an eight. What would you give the Tesla? I'm guessing, I, I need something, probably I need a baseline. Like an 8.5. <laughs> just a little better. Just a little better. Wait, what's a 10? Um, is there a 10? Does it exist? I don't even know if there is So this 10. might be one of the highest is. ratings you have. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, it is. so. I, one looks out good. of 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, do people notice when you're driving this thing around? Yes, more than I thought. Because honestly, like, I've never really paid attention to how things, like, I don't really care how things look very much, but like, it is very noticeable. People, it turns heads quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. I know I get pictures from family and friends whenever they see a Rivian, they take a picture it's like out of their rear view mirror, just driving down the road. They're like, look, I saw one of these electric trucks. And in my Ford F-150 review, that was one of my negatives on the Ford F-150 Lightning is that I didn't like that it looks just like the other Ford F-150s. And with electric trucks, Let's be honest, it is a little bit of a hassle versus a gas truck, whether you're camping or towing things, because you can't just stop at a gas station and fill it up. You can't just throw gas cans in the back of here and go out and go hunting and go in the mountains for a few days because you do have to charge it. 280 miles range, but if you're towing something, it's gonna be less than that. So in order for people to adopt the electric truck, I feel like you kind of want to have that factor. Zach doesn't care if people notice that it's him driving in his truck or that it looks cool but a lot of people do like that side of it when they're driving a car. I know when I got my first Tesla Model S and I pulled up to pick up the kids in the parking lot at elementary school, kids just stopped and just like dropped their backpacks, literally dropped it and looked at the car and they were blown away. So 
that helped Tesla kind of start to get the sales. And I think Rivian has that going for them is that it's very, very unique looking. I think it looks great. The, yeah. the front, the back, the way the handles come out, the gear tunnel. It's a good looking truck and it's not a massive truck and it's also not a small truck. It's kind of in between those two. All right, Lincoln. Open this if it's, if it's locked, you can't even open it, right? right. If That's the cool. truck is yeah. locked and the handles are in, then nothing, the tailgate doesn't open, this doesn't open, and this doesn't. That's awesome. It's, it's pretty like, secure. People stealing golf clubs if my clubs are in a truck. Truck, like it, it kind of scares me. With the Tesla Model Y, if someone came up and smashed this glass, Yes, we'd have video of it because of all the cameras. They could smash the glass, take the golf clubs. How much do golf clubs cost? Like you, on average, <sighs> an average set. Well, let's not do average. Let's do, let's just say for you, for like a junior golfer that plays golf all the time. We'd say somewhere above $5,000 and somewhere below $10,000, I'd say for your entire set. The club shafts are specifically tailored to him for his swing speed. So if he loses it, he can't just go to a store and buy it. It's gonna take months to get the same one. So in that yeah, sense, exactly. it's kind of priceless. It really is, like, especially for Lefty. Like my putter, my my driver, my driver's shaft, like that's all things that. Yeah, if his driver got stolen, he wouldn't be able to have a driver for a while. And that would be, he'd have to withdraw from tournaments. How much range does this have? 280 miles when you have the off-road tires. Lincoln, I think the best way to experience the front is just to go on a ride, so. Okay. Zach is okay if we take your car for a little bit. All right. Here we go. All right, see ya. <laughs> that screen's nice looking. I like the screen. Something you don't have in the Model Y. A screen right here. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't wreck his car, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I get yours if you wreck mine. It feels like a truck. It feels a lot a lot larger and like heavier. Having the speed is right there. And it has a speed limit, okay. That's nice. That's one of my favorite things about the Tesla is how it has a speed limit there always. Like it's, it's really nice. Lincoln is still, which is good, very afraid of police driving by and getting a ticket for speeding. I really appreciate that, that he's always looking at the speed limit and trying to figure out how fast can I drive in this street. I like how it's quiet. I like quieter cars. I don't, I don't love like the huge, extremely loud, trucks and stuff like that. The Ford Raptors. Yeah, like the, they're just so loud. It's a little windy here. Give it a little acceleration and go up and around this corner. Oh, it's fast. <laughs> oh, it's fast. <laughs> yeah, that's fast for a truck. Do you think it's faster than your Y? We'll see. It's, it sounds cooler. <laughs> it sounds a lot cooler. It does a really good job at showing all the different vehicles on there. I dislike the sound of that a lot. The sound really? of what? The blinker. It's a little weird. It's like that there's a sounds. physical something hitting against something. If that makes sense. It's like it's a physical button instead of an electronic one. Turn on the cooled seats. I don't think your wife oh, has that. Oh, that's nice. Cooled seats is one of the best things ever. Tesla had it for, I think it was six months in the Model X. That's all that they had it for, and then they did away with it. Maybe it was too expensive, maybe it was hard sourcing the parts, and Elon just wanted to get the cars out. Oh, that feels good. What feels good? <laughs> oh, the seat? You like yeah. that? That's awesome. Isn't that nice? I really wish the Tesla's had that. Like, I really do. It makes a big difference, especially we live in Southern Utah, which is desert, red rock, incredibly hot. The actual maps is basically like Google Earth, and it's really responsive. When we get into our five-year-old Tesla Model X, or even sometimes my two-year-old Model S, when you're zooming around on the screen, like pinching in and zooming out, trying to find places to go or chargers, there's like these blocks that are really slow to load, like the computer can't keep up with what you're doing. And this Rivian does a fantastic job of loading and refreshing really, really fast and you can look at where you need to go. We've actually, when, wow, that bird did not it did not move. move. <laughs> that was close. You gotta check out that back right tire. Oh yeah, it's been flat since I went off roading. <laughs> Let's check it out. I have to pump it up like every three days. <laughs> so that's why, it's a good thing you have an air compressor in the yeah. back of your car. Literally all I do is just connect the air compressor to the one tire and every three days I just blow it up. <laughs> Lincoln, you drove the car without any incidents. I like how this is the same though. Tesla, I really like this. Just the gear shift right the there. gear shift. Or whatever you And is. there's a lot more space right here. It's a lot yeah. more open. Oh, show them the speaker. The wood is nice. One really nice thing, there's a couple nice things about this. One, you, you can fit lots of <laughs> screws in here. 
<laughs> the other thing is, check this out. Down here, you got a speaker. Portable speaker? Yeah. What in the world? It's, and it's a lantern. There's lights. It's a lantern. What? There's lights on the bottom or something like that. That's yeah. cool. Lincoln, you could use that at the golf course if you're like out chipping one night or putting by yourself at the practice facilities. Just pull out your speaker out of your truck if you drove a truck. Mm -hmm. I was surprised at how well, how good it felt compared to this car. It felt pretty similar, just a little, little higher off the ground, a little bigger. Um, but I really do like the little storage for in the gear. gear Don't truck. forget your golf clubs. Those yeah. are re irreplaceable as we've learned today. <laughs> I, I really like that. I think that that's awesome. What do you think about driving this versus driving the Ford Raptor, the gas car? I like that a lot more. It just, it feels, it feels easier. I mean, the one I drove was super, super big. Like it was massive. Like you don't need a truck that big, but this is, this is still a good size for a truck. You just offended a lot of people that have big trucks that big. I don't <laughs> just kidding. He doesn't need a truck that's that big. He doesn't truck. need a monster truck. Yeah. Zach, thank you for letting us drive your truck. I do like it a lot. Yeah. It's a good looking truck. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I were to compare them all between like the Hummer, the F-150 Lightning, the Rivian. They're all good for their own reasons, right. but this one you actually have. So I got to give that one the nod. Something that always comes to mind, because like people online, the hate against electric trucks is like massive. But if you like think about how many different kinds of hammers there are, there's like 50 different kinds of hammers and there's 50 different kinds of trucks. They're all just good for different things. The, how's hammers. that analogy? I don't know the last time I used a hammer. Did you know there honest. were 50 different types of hammers? Yeah, what? Like the back of them, like the prong thing's different. Yeah, there's demolition hammers, there's plastic sledge hammers, hammers, rubber hammers, sledge yeah, hammers, sledge hammers, tiny little hammers, big hammers. Pepper shrimp. There's all kinds of hammers, brass hammers, they're gold. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go pet the mini horses now. Thank you for watching the car review from a 16 year old. Good truck, good it truck. Gonna like stick it. with the Model Y for now because that's the car he has and it's a fantastic car, but you definitely, you would give it how many thumbs up for somebody, uh, for a 16 year old like, that wanted to buy a Rivian? Like one and a half thumbs up. What? One and three quarters. Your reviews, <laughs> you never like giving a full positive number. <laughs> Horse. You can go ride them, dude. Wait, what? So. Yeah, you one foot on one and one foot on the other. Just like, <laughs> ski on. Oh, it's coming to you. Hi. Oh, it's, it's funny, coming to Zach. I'm the know. least animal person on the planet, and animals always come to me. <laughs> like, Cambry's parents have a dog, always sits next to my feet. And I'm like, I'm the person who wants you the least here. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Why, why the mini horse and not the big horse? Eat less. Poop smaller. Poops still poop all over the place. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. There's some poop. But Cambry, like little kids actually do ride these, so they take them to events and stuff like that. That's cool. For the little kids to do. I think Zach and Cambry need to drive this to where we live and test it out on a road trip. Yeah. I have this like statue thing in my backyard <laughs> that we need to pull it out of there so we can destroy it. And we need a truck. Do you think this could tow Easy. the statue? Easy. Really? Yeah. That's pretty gnarly. Right? 